The following is a selected video from MasterTheContent.com, where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit MasterTheContent.com. Your career, our passion. Next slide that we have on the screen right here actually illustrates this point. As you can see, a nucleoside right here basically consists of an atrogenous base, which we have right here. This actually happens to be an atrogenous base that we refer to as guanine. And we have our sugar right here. It's a five carbon sugar, so we refer to it as a, refer to it as a pen, a pentose sugar. So those two components together, the sugar and the nitrogenous base, is what we refer to as the nucleoside. Now, if we add a phosphate group to that structure right there, then we have what is referred to as a nucleotide. So that's a pretty neat, a pretty simple diagrammatic or illustration that shows you the difference between a nucleoside and a, a nucleotide. So why are nucleotides actually important in biology? That's a question that you have to ask yourself. Okay, so remember I said that a nucleotide is a basic unit of structure in a DNA molecule. So clearly it's very pivotal in the structure of DNA as a nucleic acid, as well as RNA as a nucleic acid for that matter. Now, DNA is responsible for carrying the genetic instructions that guide the growth and development of organisms. So as you can see, a nucleotide would be really important if um, it's actually one of the fundamental pieces uh, that goes towards building a DNA molecule, which is responsible for carrying all our genetic information. Now, in the case of uh, RNA, it also plays a crucial role uh, as far as ribonucleic acid is concerned, RNA. And RNA is really important in the copying, uh, the replication, the storing, and the manipulation of DNA as a whole. So those are two centrally important uh, biological molecules uh, or molecules in biology. And why the nucleotide is so important is because life in general is pretty much centered around uh, the products of the genetic instructions that are stored uh, that are stored in DNA. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on. 